Well, good morning. As you can tell, I'm face painted up and I'm set up in my little brush pile. We're crow hunting this morning. We're going to see if we can make it happen. I got owl decoys set up here in front of me and I got three crow decoys. So hopefully this morning we're going to be busting down some crows. I've already had some flying around me as I was getting set up about 100 yards out. They didn't see none of my decoys or anything. They were just kind of flying around and doing their thing and I've been hearing them out in the distance. So I know it ain't going to be long when I turn this collar on that we're going to be having some crows come flying in here. So hopefully we are going to be hammering them down. As long as my shooting is good, I'm very confident we're going to be popping some crows. So with that said, let's turn this collar on and let's knock down some coyotes with wings. Here we go. Here we go. Got some calling to me back behind me where that other one came from. Oh, uh -uh. Ah. shot the tree. Dang, should have waited. Damn, come it. So, all right, we've only been on stand for 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes actually, and I already had two come in, killed the one. And there he is. Oh. What's he got in his mouth? I've seen that when he was flying. Some kind of uh, cocoon looking thing. It's got something inside of it. It's <clears throat> tough as can be. Yeah, it's got some kind of a beetle inside of it. Or, I think that's what that is. Yeah, some kind of beetle. Alright. First crew of the day. I wouldn't have missed the other one. Could have had two here. But that's one less turkey egg eater right there. Baby turkey killer. Baby squirrel killer. Y'all think I'm crazy? Look it up for yourself. There's a reason they call them coyotes with wings. Y'all see my spread here. Got the owl right there. I got, now these are homemade decoys. Got one right here. Got another one right there. And I got one right there. Which I actually need to fix that one because that's one laid down a little bit. And now we're going to get this crow, and we're going to place him somewhere. There he is. Extra decoy. <laughs> Fix this one up a little bit. There we go. Y'all want to see how to make those? Drop it in the comment box. Let me know. This homemade ones and super cheap to make but very effective. Well, I just pulled up to where I'm gonna be setting up now. Probably gonna go either in those little short pines or in those little short pines over there. But we're gonna set somewhere right in here. There's a big pasture back this way, and I hear crows out there. The method I'm using to 
find them right now is just kind of the stop and go, which is pretty much what it sounds like. You just drive a little ways down the road, just stop, sit there for about five minutes and listen. Drive a little farther, stop, listen. I'm just trying to find crows that are already talking in the area because I know for a fact there's crows right over here. So I'm going to go get set up and there's a very fair chance that they hear me, they're going to come over. So that's one thing I love about crow hunting is it's kind of fast paced in a sense compared to like, you know, the duck hunting is that first light, you know, they come flying in like crazy, but crows, it really don't matter what time of day. You just kind of, whenever you want to come out, you come out. I do like the mornings better, but really it doesn't matter what time of day you want to go out. But anyhow, I'm going to go get set up. We're going to see if we can call on these crows. You freaking kidding me, man. He gone. That joker kicking in high gear. Y'all notice that my call changes sounds. That's because it detects when you shoot. And so you can program it to change to a different sound. So when I shoot, I make it change to a struggling crow. That way, if there's a big flock of them, the hope is that you know, you shoot one, falls down or whatever, another one scatter, that struggling crow keep them coming around. I've had it happen many times before, so I know it works, but it doesn't work on a single when you shoot at a single one and that joker kicks off, but man, how did I miss him three times? I will tell you all this. When it comes to crow hunting, you're going to miss more than you think you will because these jokers are slow. And you're thinking, how am I going to miss on a slow flying crow? Well, the reason being is because if you're a regular duck hunter or dove hunter, you're shooting at something that generally is flying past you at 30 plus miles an hour. These crows, they're going like 5, 10 miles an hour. So you, you're leading a lot more than you think you need to. And I know that's what the problem is. I know for a fact that's what it is. It's just, it's muscle memory just throwing up and leading way up in front of them. Man. Oh yeah. 16 minutes we've been on the stand, so. Dadgummit, man. Now, just sit here and wait some more. I'll turn the collar back on in a minute. I'm about to move spots anyways where, where I'm sitting because the sun is starting to come out here on me. One of the big things about crow hunting is your vocalization can make a big difference in whether you have crows in your lap or crows in the distance. These crows looked like they were starting to fade away, so I went ahead and switched the call over to a crow fight. Needless to say, it was a good switch. Come on. Listen, even though I missed that crow, there ain't nothing better than having one fly up in your lap like that. Well, the spot produced good. If only I could have actually hit them. As I thought about shooting at them two that were coming right here. The first two, but I heard more behind me and I didn't want to mess them up by shooting these ones if I could have had all of them around me. Should have shot that one when he landed up there on that pine tree is what I should have done, but I was wanting to shoot him flying. Oh, man, I can't believe that. And just so y'all know what shells I'm shooting, I'm shooting these 
steel game of targets. They're high brass, number six shot, two and three quarter inch. I really like them for crows. You can use low brass, number eight dove loads. I've killed them with that, but I just like that little heavier, little heavier BB hitting them and hitting them a lot faster and a lot harder with that high brass. Get a little more range on it too. And I'm shooting a modified choke out of the shotgun. Telling y'all, y'all need to give this a try. It really is fun. I love it. Yeah, I really do. You get to watch the birds work the decoys, work the set. I mean, it's it's really fun. I really like it a lot. And there's not many people, not many people that hunt these crows, especially here in Florida. I mean, I could be having a pile of subscribers on this channel that do hunt them, but I've talked to a lot of people and a lot of duck hunters and thinking maybe they'd do it. I've yet, and I mean yet, to ever meet somebody that hunts crows. You really should give it a try.